A Secular History, Finding the Truth, by Urban M. Ferguson, a pious Gentile. In my early years of 13 and 14 years old, my first experience with the secular church was with the Church of God in Southern California. A friend of mine played great piano, and so we formed what is called now a praise team in 1970. That period came and left, and I knew it wasn't the true church. In 1975, I noticed a television preacher preaching the world to come, which was Herbert W. Armstrong and Garner Ted Armstrong. They formed the Worldwide Church of God in Pasadena, California, and I found that church not to be the true church. Then, in 1978, I moved to Arizona, the state of my birth. I grew up, got married, and formed a rock band, and just partied, basically, sliding on life. But, in the middle of all that, I woke up one morning and noticed a Rabbi Manus Friedman speaking about the seven Noahide laws on TV. I didn't understand it at the time, because I had never heard of those, and like I said, I was partying hardy, as they say here. But it stayed in the back of my mind. In 1989, my dad passed, which really caused me to slide on life and delve deeper into bars and beer. Then, in 1998, my mother passed, and there it was. The three compadres were no longer three. Of course, I was married to my wife, and she helped me. We helped each other. Fast forward to 2015, and I had a myocardial infarction. The doctors put two stents in or on my heart. While all this was going on, I thought to myself, I don't know the secrets of life or even what it is all about. I was kind of preparing to die, because they had told my wife that people of my age at that time do not survive it, age 57. I survived it and was released three days later. I thanked the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob for letting me survive. I remembered Rabbi Manus Friedman and started listening to him on YouTube and getting in contact with Kabad rabbis in my area. I study every morning and pray three times a day as a Noahide. I thank the God of Abraham for showing me the secrets that the regular population of Gentiles do not know or maybe don't want to know because of their belief system. I form www.thenoahide.com website and related YouTube site just to spread the laws far and near. Hashem, blessed be he, answers prayers, even for Gentiles who seek him. I praise him and only him. Sincerely, Irvin M. Ferguson, Arizona.